Competent communicator number nine is persuade with power. So what I want to talk to Wes about today in terms of your evaluation is how you persuade it, but how you can do it with more power. Before I start, I want to talk about the thing that you did best. You actually, and I don't think you are aware of this, have a very unique but very effective use of humor. Uh, you got lots of laughs when you talked about your own fears. Say, so now here's just another fear, people laugh. When you had a pause, this is the, you kind of had a break in what you were thinking. It is the best reset I've ever said, I mean, I've ever seen. It was like, oh, stop, give me a second, I need to reboot here. And everybody cracked up. You know, it was the kind of thing that was so good, like, I want to use it. Like, I want to mess up so I can use it because it was so funny. So you actually have a great natural sense of humor. I would think um, in your future speeches, try to develop that a little bit and use that a little bit more. So let's look at uh, what you had to do in the book. Persuade with power. One of the ways that you can persuade, you can inspire, convince, call to action. This was kind of in between a convince and a call to action. And one of the techniques is to show us the problem, then show us the solution, and then show us why or how we should do it. So the problem was very clear. You gave us lots of information. You kind of made, at least me, I definitely was like, wow, a little afraid about that. I mean, to, to think it was that easy, especially when you showed the picture of the big transformer and like a little gun. And it was like, wow, it's that easy. So you made the problem clear. You made the solution clear. You gave the three points. They went by kind of quick, but I remember the simple one about put a concrete wall around it so they can't see it. It was really simple. So you made this, the solution really something simple that we can do. Then you took another step and showed us why the solution wasn't working. And I'm from Washington, D.C., so I already knew exactly where you were going. This is a country of the corporation, by the corporation, for the corporation. So I understood immediately. But you might just make it a little bit simpler to simply say that, you know what, the government cannot do this, the corporations, and, you know, make it a little bit simpler in how you actually explain it so people get real quick that there's no one solution to it. And then the last thing is you said, and here is your personal solution. And you gave us the picture and email of Diane Feinstein. Now those were all basically persuasive. But number nine is persuade with power. So how can you get with power? First of all, you told us the problem, but you need to make it personal. No electricity for me is personal. My, my cell phone is being charged right now on the floor right there. I'm always looking for chargers mm -hmm. to, you know, to charge my memory, my brain. Okay? Make it personal. Say, imagine if you had to live 18 months without TV, without cable without your cell phone, okay? Imagine what you would do at night when all the lights went off. How many candles do you have? Make it personal, make us feel the problem a little bit more. That's how you can add some power to that. Uh, when it came to the solution, make the solution more visual. You had the slide with a lot of like bullet points and the kind of story of what happened. You could, instead of just telling the story, add a picture. Of what the you know of what the solution is. So maybe add a picture of a concrete wall. Make it you know real simple. Just a concrete wall. That's all you had to say. That would be visually would connect us to it a lot more. And then for the personal solution, you put up the information about Diane Feinstein. But first of all, make her picture bigger. Make the email bigger. But even more so, make it easier for us to act. I used to work in Washington D.C. Like I said, and I worked for a number of of groups that were doing different types of. Um, work with government and one of the things they, they knew is that if you want people to contact your senator make it easy so tell us I'm going to send you the email afterwards I'll give you a sample letter I'll tell you a group that you can contact and give money to make it so easy for us that that moment you scared us will get us to go okay I'll go ahead and send it because it's easy that's how you can persuade with power the next time Mr. Toastmaster.